Hey, blue collar DIYers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, remove a plank of allure flooring and replace it with a new plank. Now, uh, on this job here, I'm not replacing just one plank. Uh, I'm replacing a, um, a set four by eight section. So, um, anyway, what you want to do um, is t start with a heat gun and start at a butt joint. Preferably, it, now if you're replacing a damaged section, you're, you're obviously going to start at the butt joint of the damaged section. Um, this is a little Wagner $25 heat gun. It goes from 750 to 1100 degrees. It was more than enough. Now, some people say you can do this with a hair dryer. Um, <laughs> I, I can imagine it taking a very long time with a hair dryer. But hey, if you want to give it a shot with a hair dryer, this, but this little Wagner is 25 bucks. Well worth it. Look how that thing is, gets very hot, very quick. You're also going to need a painter's tool or 7-in-1, 5-in-1 tool. Uh, I like to start it up with a really tiny screwdriver. Get it up under there. And so I can uh, start getting my tool under there. The heat is going to release the glue, cause the glue to release. And um, now you want to be careful. Like I say, this is 1100 degrees. So you don't want to get your uh, lure too hot. <laughs> like I said, stay till the end. You'll see what happens if you get it too hot. But if you take your time and keep your um, heat gun moving, around this will come up um and, and don't force it because and don't get too hot then try to force it because those grip strips are very very sensitive uh, you will break them if you get too rough with this stuff and then you then you got to replace more uh, flooring so just take your time i get kind of rough with it i did break a couple of the grip strips now, like I said, I'm not replacing just one or two strips here. I'm replacing about a four by eight sheet here uh, of, of subfloor because they let the kitchen sink leak. It ran down to the joist, ran down the joist, and the subfloor over months just wicked that up and just rotted. And it's just um, very irritating. They didn't notify us, didn't notify the landlord until... Um, her floor started getting really soft and she started complaining but you're going to use that heat gun along the edges and you can see me there I just take my time I'm um, heating up a, a big area and just keep my heat gun uh, moving but um, and uh, here I'm going at the, no the other side of the butt joint just trying to get it up and uh, there again just keep your heat gun going this is on high this is 1100 degrees um i do get a little impatient sometimes so and uh, and so I, i've got to remind myself you know and, and when you get it just right you see that that paint tool just slice right through that and, that, and that's what we want but uh, anyway i've removed a section of flooring so i'm just going around the perimeter trying to remove a big enough section i can take all the flooring out instead of piece by piece and so that's where I, that's why I'm doing this right here. I'm just starting around the edge, going to take that center section out, then replace the subfloor. That'll probably be another video down the road. And I'm just I'm getting those those seams, those glue joints, warm, and just running my knife under them. And um, you, you, now you see how some of these edges are rippling, or you got you know there you can see right there. Uh, I'll show you also towards the end a little segment of how when you go back with a new piece, these these pieces that are got the little um, ripples in them, uh, some some of them won't lay flat. And I'm going to show you how I got them to lay flat. So this floor actually, once I got the old rotted floor out uh, and uh, put these pieces back in, this this looked really good. Um, Unless you knew where where to look, even if then you couldn't tell where I uh, pulled those strips out, and it, it'd be same way uh, when you do your floor. Um, if you if you'll just be uh, patient and um, just heat up, keep your heat gun moving. 
and just slowly heat. Yeah, don't lay it on. Don't lay the hot gun on the floor <laughs> like I did. Luckily, it didn't damage the floor. This this area here anyway will be under the stove and the freezer. Um, but still, you don't want. And once you get them, they'll come out just like this. Put it to the side. Then start. I started on the other piece. Um, like I said, I'm taking out a <clears throat> perimeter area there about uh, five by ten, really. I want a little bit bigger. I had to replace a four by eight section of subfloor, so I wanted obviously a little bit bigger than the area that I'm replacing on the subfloor. And you know, if you have to use your hand, to just make sure that that doesn't get too hot, um, because. <laughs> You do not want it to get too hot. Now, I will say that this lure flooring is very durable and very tough. And you'll see that later on in that little clip. Um, so, so it does take a lot to actually run the floor. And, um, yeah, it, it can get hot. <laughs> so, <laughs> use the paint tool. And like I said, I'm getting a little too aggressive here. And I'm causing a lot of those ripples. But, um like I said, that little trick towards the end I'm going to show you will take care of these. Now, you, you really need a roller would be ideal or a rubber mallet uh, when you're going to go back with your new allure planking. But since I cleaned the pickup out the previous week and took those things out of my pickup and didn't put them back in for this job, I had to use just a regular old uh, claw hammer and it will work as long as you don't get too aggressive. And you see how that all that glue is just releasing so easy right there. And that's, that's how you get a lure planking out. Um, going back in, it's really easy. Just slide it up under there. The hard part is, is uh, <clears throat> sliding under. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you want to get everything just right. Make sure your, your uh, uh, joints are nice and tight. Glued down, that, run your hand over it, make sure one section is not sticking up above the other. If so, take your little rubber mallet to it and mash it down. And that's really, I mean, that is simple as replace, it is when it comes to replacing a lure flooring. It is very simple if you've got the right tools. Now, here's how to get that flooring if it doesn't go back lay flat. You're just going to heat it up, just the part that's uh, rippled. And you're going to get it nice and warm again. And like I said, I don't have my roller or my uh, rubber mallet with me, so I'm just going to use a hammer. Just be easy with it and just peck them right back down. And that's just keep it warm. And, and I'll, I had a little area. I forget what happened. I don't know what happened actually, but it was just about a little dimple, right? Pimple raised up in another area and of the of this allure flooring. And I'm thinking, what happened there? Um, I don't know what happened there because it wasn't at a, a glue joint. It was in the middle of plank. So what I did, I was heated it up just like this. Took the hammer, pecked it right back down. All she wrote. And that's all you are you going to do. And like I said, it's more ideal to get the roller and roll this down, but I didn't have the roller. In fact, if your kids got a skateboard, that'd probably work too. You know, just, just put weight on as you roll it over those joints. And you want to run your hand over it. Make sure none of it's raised up. Get it all nice and flat, nice and flush. And, um, And that's all there is to it. All these uh, went together good. Now this is what happens if you get it too hot. Um, I was just messing around with a scrap piece here to see how how long it would take for I blistered the vinyl, <laughs> and it's pretty interesting right here. Um, it surprised me. So I'm trying to figure out which is the best way to do this so y'all can see it on the camera. This is 1100 degrees on high, and as you can see, about one to two inches away from the vinyl. And um, 
So I'm going along here and I'm like, I'm already like, oh, I thought it would already blistered, but it didn't. Um, so this shows you how durable this allure is. Um, and it's, it's coming up on, and you can see already it's kind of getting just a little shiny. It's getting really warm right there, right there towards the end. And you can see it getting kind of shiny. It's getting really soft. And right along here, there we go. There's our little over one minute and we start blistering so by a minute 15 seconds for 1100 degrees and blister that that's very impressive if you ask me and i really thought i would would have already caught it on fire but i didn't catch it on fire but i sure did scorch it so there you go uh this stuff is very durable i like it now these people put a hole in it by dropping something i don't know what they dropped on it but obviously whatever it was it was triangle shape and it went through the uh flooring but luckily that was right where i had to replace it anyway so hey i thank y'all for watching um like and subscribe don't forget to sign up for the podcast and all that um and so that's donald blue collar diy.com we're going to get out of here do another video later on and we'll see you later down the road thank you for watching